A lot of selling courses that I've attended or that I've participated in in the past um, emphasize the close as the most important part of the sale process. Um, and they teach you to close um, without teaching you the other steps. Go for the close, make it happen, um, you know, just sell the customer something. The beautiful part of integrity selling is it makes the close a lot more natural. So many times when we do our traditional data dump, then the close becomes awkward because you've never gotten a buy-in from the physician. If you do the entire eight ink process, the close is just a natural extension of what you've already talked about. The most important part of the closing, the sale in my opinion, is keeping things simple. Close is very seamless. It is the natural progression of events that have led up to that point. It is not some magical climatic moment as all of the <laughs> books on selling would have us believe that this is the culmination of everything. It is as easy as getting agreement on a series of trial questions. A trial closing question asks for feelings and responses and opinions. What do you think about this? How do you feel about this? Will this do what you want it to do? A closing question calls for a decision. A decision. Now you can, you can get negative responses to trial closing questions and not damage you in any way. In fact, you want them if that's what they're thinking. Uh, if you get a negative response to a decision question, uh, chances are it's all over. It can be uncomfortable if you haven't done a good interview, if you haven't demonstrated. The close can be very uncomfortable. So just spending some time at the end of the call, helping them visualize the end result, and this is going to be extremely easy. This program's going to work out fantastic. It's a win-win for both parties, so you know, celebrate. That's what it's all about. You made a fantastic decision today. The close, which is short, but it's also very important, is because you want to end on that very positive note. I do believe that on every call you should close. I think the beauty with the integrity selling model is that you're not always closing for something you haven't earned the right to close for. It's not tips or tricks or things that, that are meant to um, corner the customer into purchasing a product from us. It's all about making sure that they're in agreement. First of all, if you look at selling as not doing something to people or, or benefiting from people, but look at it as helping people, the, the, and, and, and if you can truly fill their needs, then I feel a professional responsibility to be assertive and, and to get people to make decisions. If what I'm going to do for them is, is right for them, I feel like I would not be serving them well if I didn't get them to make a decision. And I don't, I don't have reluctance. I used to have a lot of reluctance in that because I, I viewed the selling process as either accepting me or rejecting me. I, I don't do that anymore. For some people, they can't close. They're still selling because they don't think they've done all the things that they should have done up to that point. I can't stay in business if I don't close. Um, but. If you've done a good job up until that point, the close is very easy. I am very cautious about when someone says something like, that looks good, or let's go ahead, my mouth is shut, and we proceed. You just know to do something at the end when you've done everything else right in the integrity process. So I think closing uh, has, has been a nervous step for some of our newer representatives. Post-integrity, it's become very, a very natural step.